All right, I don't know if you can tell it, but it's snowing. So that means I need to come inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there is a new project I've got. But that's not what this video is about. This video is gonna be about making a new steel line to go from the fuel pump to the carburetor on the engine that the little man and I put together for the brown truck out there so I have got my work cut out for me what I need is a couple employees who work for free and I need to clean off my workbench but let me uh, get crack a lacking as Chevaholic would say all right, I'm back. I had to go in the house and let dogs out and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, Christmas shopping. I guess the next thing we need to address here is... Uh, there we are, 50 degrees. I think I can live with that without turning on the heat. All right, let's bend up a, a fuel line. But first, I guess I better clean up my workbench there a little bit. There's some bearings I welded together. Isn't that crazy? Well, there's my EGR block off plate with nuts welded in it. I need that for right there. Didn't want to use up one of the old non EGR ones in the stash. Bench is clear. Now I just gotta find my pattern. Wonder what I did with that. Alright, I found that over here on the workbench <clears throat> that I just cleared off. I'm gonna use that for my pattern. This one would be usable except that somebody did a bad thing right there. I could just cut it off and cut it off there and put a piece of rubber hose in it like a redneck butcher, but I'm not going to do that. Even though some would argue I'm a redneck butcher. Let me get started and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, sometimes you got to get, get a little creative. I needed that bend as tight to the 45 the 90 as tight to the 45 as I could get it and to do that I had to maybe you can see it like that I had to get the bend kind of away from it which will kind of to roll so I used my little clamp and clamped it up tight and it seemed to work okay then I had to pull it out of the vise to finish the bend because it was hitting some junk there I got under the workbench but let me continue it's nice to have this template handy that I'm going to loosely follow just to help keep my angles right. I'm going to start the 90 we're looking at right there a little before it is on the original one because I've gotten a little long right there. And then after each bend I'll take it and test fit it and make sure it's still going to work out okay. <clears throat> Obviously, I can't make a bend that tight either. So, uh, let's keep keep after it. Alright, here's what we got so far. I'm going to have to do a little tweaking right there to get back straight here. But keep it far enough away from the block. It's not going to rub. But once these fittings are started... And in the carburetor, you can tweak her a little bit. It's been my experience. you got to do that. All right, here's our progress so far. We're coming up. We're missing the radiator hose. It's a little tight right there. I'll probably have to tweak that just a scotch. But we're looking good there. And now, right there, I need to bend it about a 45 so it gets vertical again. And then I'll need to bend it again back that away. Or something to that effect. 
This is not a real exact science. At least I haven't mastered it to that degree yet. Actually, I think I changed my mind. You can see right there. I made a mark where I was going to start my bend, but if you line up, that puts me almost directly in line with a fuel inlet. I think I'll be better off to make the bend so it goes vertical between the heater hose nipple and the valve cover which would give me a little more room to make a bend to get into the carburetor. I'm going to deviate from the original design slightly. Alright, you can see there I did pretty good but I gotta put just a little more bend on it. I started in the right place, just need a little more bend. Alright, now we're looking pretty good. Now I need a 90 again back this way so that's what I'm gonna do all right now you can see what we got here we got room to get the valve cover out and we got room to get the heater hose on I think I can get away with just 190 right about here and get it into the carburetor I think that'll work well, you can see I changed my mind a little bit. I decided to put a little bend right there to get me closer to the same plane as the carburetor. Now I just need a 90 right about there to get into the carburetor and then I'll need to shorten the line and reflare it. Now sometimes you'll find the challenge here is once you make a bend can't get it to fit again because it's hitting other stuff so you gotta do a fair amount of eyeballing and educated guessing but it's working out pretty close I think I'm gonna cut it somewhere there alright let me show you a miscalculation I made you may be able to see it already Everything looks good up through there. Plenty of gap between the alternator and everything, but I missed the carburetor by a little bit. Well, that's no problem. We'll just bend this back, right? Oh, wait. Now the fuel line hits the alternator. So I think what I'm going to try to do is put a bend here and one the opposite way there to shorten this run here a little bit and get it closer to the carburetor without touching the alternator. If it doesn't work out, I can straighten out some of that. All right. The alternator is laying all the way down, so it won't be that close to the positive terminal when the alternator is tightened up. There's a decent gap there. And we're pretty much lined up. I think good enough to go ahead and put the nut on and flare it. Something I forget sometimes. I, sometimes I flare it and then realize I should have put the nut on. But let's go ahead and put the nut on, flare it, and hook it up and see how it looks. Alright, I want you to see what I just did. All my talk about don't forget the flare nut. And right there it is, for Pete's sake. Had the start of a nice flare too. And now I'm going to have to cut it off. Mm. Alright, there's the flare and the nut. Now, let's put it up on here and see what it looks like. All right, I think we're looking pretty good, except for right here. And I thought we were good there, but I think I can get that out of it with a little gentle use of this. Let me fool with it a little bit and I'll show you the results. All right. I think it turned out pretty good. That's about where the alternator will sit with the belt on it. We got a good 
three eighths of an inch clearance everywhere. We've got clearance on the heater hose. Not an excessive amount, but we got some. Can still get the valve cover off and it's in the carburetor. This problem was exacerbated by the fact that I had to cut my flare off. Shortened up this run which brought the uh, line closer to the heater hose. That's why you gotta pay attention and not get distracted. I got plenty of distractions. All right, that job's done. Now all I need to do to the motor is dig out the exhaust manifolds. I think it's got a broke stud or two. Fix that, bolt them on there. I gotta clean up this mess. I started welding that and then inadvertently grabbed a piece of brazen rod, I guess. Kind of disgusts me. But anyway, that's what happened. I think I'll just leave that side like that. Let it be a wonder to somebody if they ever take it apart again. Let me bolt that on there. And I probably should pull that thermostat. You know, when I was a kid, my dad wouldn't go just buy a new thermostat. He'd take it in the house, put it in a pot, get the water up to the right temperature, and see if it worked. Save himself a couple bucks. I might do that just to see you know and prime the oil pump oil system put a distributor in it I think I'm gonna put it on the test stand and fire it up before I put it in the truck just to break in the cam and make sure it's gonna act okay and then we'll put it in the truck see how the truck does. I think I'm going to sell that truck. I need to. I got too many around here. And you ain't seen them all. Well, I'm getting pretty hungry. I guess before I go in, I better clean off the workbench. Alright, I better save this because you never know what you might need someday. All right, I'm going in. I'm hungry. Don't take long. There it goes.